Yes, that's that's exactly how we how we see it at the moment. A V-shaped recovery. I mean, this is one of the the big unknowns for the moment. We are quite sure about. Uh, the level of activity that was uh, during the shutdown, uh, we know that the shutdown is uh, gradually eased uh, since the end of April. And what we are, what we are a bit uncertain is uh, then, of course, the speed of recovery. And this is why we were asking the firms in our EFO survey of how they see the situation. And they told us that they see a normalization of the of their own situation on average within the next nine months. And this would then mean uh, a V-shaped recovery, a recovery reached uh, by the end or by the middle of uh, next year. Timo, we've uh, clearly had unprecedented events around coronavirus, but is there another wild card that may not be taken into account? And I'm talking specifically about any fallout around the US-China relationship. We know Germany did not fare well in the height of the trade war. It wreaked hav havoc on many of those exporters. Could that be another issue if we see heightened tensions between the two countries? Yes, definitely. This is a big issue uh, where we do not know how this will end. Um, it's clear. Uh, uncertainty for the moment uh, with, uh, with our forecasts uh, is, is very high. It's on the one hand, of course, uh, the question of how recovery will go on uh, or, or will happen in all the export markets. And I'm in particular worried about the, the US, uh, but also the recovery speed in Germany is, of course, highly uncertain. And so we don't know, for example, how many firms are getting insolvent uh, as a consequence of the shutdown. So for the moment, we simply assume that there will be no insolvency. So a lot of issues which are quite unclear at the moment. Uh, but I think that uh, the most likely path is, as you said at the beginning, the V-shaped recovery.